been able to uh, bring people in from the cold and, and use a church as a place where people can have dialogue, whether it's abortion, whether it's um, uh, uh, euthanasia, all those things should be discussed because they are big moral issues confronting uh, people of faith. And if, if we run away from them, uh, we leave that territory to other people. So because you've, we've quite an, an eclectic mix of people, we use the term here that we are a beloved community. So because we're a beloved community, you can dis disagree with each other with loving kindness. To see how much you're offering to others. Yeah. You didn't have to do this for us. You didn't just do it for one, you've done it for everybody. But look at how many people are benefiting from it. Not just one colour, not just one group, but everybody. And we're learning from each other. So why is there so many differences in the world when our Quran and the Bible are almost the same? If we can understand other cultures and religions and not really judge by one's colour or the way they're dressed, we can get along. It's like family, you know, that's how close we are with each other. We stopped um, being inward looking and started being outward looking, which meant that we were actually out there doing more faith stuff in the community. So although I don't think I go on and on to the people here that I'm a Christian and I do this and I do that and I do that, but it's by my acts that I am known. The values are about recognising that everybody is individual, uh, about recognising that everybody has usually something that they might need help with and it's about going out there and helping somebody with that. And that's your duty really as just as a person to do that. But to see the church as a place where it's safe to come for the elderly, for the young, for the indigenous and for the asylum seekers but to come here and everybody will, will be as one and they'll know the love of God in this place that is, and they'll have the respect and love that they, they want. You reach out and you find other what other people's needs might be and try and meet them without expecting anything back, you know, in return. I'm a parish minister. How could I speak about the needs in this parish if I don't live here and, and feel it feel it myself? I think um, for me, faith, it, it's not in like a religious context. It's more to do with a, a, a belief in a set of principles and a belief in people's capacity to change if they choose. Um, I, do, I don't regard communities as being bad ever because I believe communities are intrinsically good. That's what makes them community. Faith is the counterculture, the, the, the thing that, that says actually to be the best that you can be as a human being that you need to care for the other with love it's it, it runs through everything if you have love for others love for yourself um love for your environment then all the, and you show that love and you demonstrate that love then you will in fact be demonstrating all of the other values as well i came to the family center and they introduced me to groups around here and I made so many friends and they're more like my family up here now. It's not about, you know, biological family, it's about the people who you can rely on and offer you love and support and that's definitely my friends. It's really nice to meet other people from other generations um, from the same area um, and also by giving you receive from them as well so it's lovely. If nobody gave, nobody would give and no one would get anything. And even if uh, there is not a lot of people who are willing to give, it just takes one person. And I think that's really important. That is the human need. It's a human need to be together, to get on together, and, and just to, to grow together. The people of this community have seen projects come and go. They have seen uh, developments take off and go nowhere. And it's the churches that actually are the, are the things that are the constant factor, the constant presence.